Hey everyone, and uh, probably gonna mess up the intro here, but hey everyone, welcome back. So tonight, I've got something special. It's something that isn't even on the Nintendo Switch, but when I got invited for this, it got me so curious that it's something I had to do. We're gonna be looking at a game called Campfire tonight. Now, hopefully some of you guys are going to come in here, but I know we've had a huge day online in the Switch realm and video game realm because we got our Game of the Year nominees. Well, the nominees for all the game awards. We also got uh, the announcement that we're getting an Indie Direct tomorrow morning or an Indie World tomorrow morning. I'm saying Direct, but it's an Indie World, but let's be honest, it's a Direct and tonight we are going to try something that got me extremely curious, like I said. Hey, Champ Dancer, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, so tonight we're not even going to talk about a Switch game, but there is a relation here in the sense that I do think that what we're doing tonight is possibly something that we're going to pop up and see elsewhere. And we already got the news that this type of thing was maybe coming to one of the biggest game franchises of all time. So when I got the invitation to try out a framework for it, I had to jump in. So basically, Campfire Tonight, this is an it's an online game. OK, I just want to set the stage here. This is like a proof of concept game. What that means is we're in alpha right now. OK. This is sort of like trying out something completely new. I got invited to the alpha by the developers themselves to try it out and share it with you guys. But it's basically playing a game where the NPCs are actually controlled by AI. Uh, tomorrow it's at 12 p.m. Eastern time, which is like the worst possible time for a freaking direct. Because there's no way I can work my work schedule around 12 p.m. Eastern time. So we're going to be talking about it probably after, but yeah, it's not going to. And but that does signal something in the direct 12 noon tomorrow. The eShop is probably going to drop with the real Black Friday deals. I don't I, I don't want to scare you guys, but the first wave of Black Friday deals are probably dropping tomorrow afternoon at noon. Um, give me a second. I want to clean my camera. We have a brand new camera at the Maple Syrup a Gaming and Tech Studio, and I can see that my lens is super dirty. So give me 10 seconds. Ah, so much better. Honestly, I don't think it's going to change anything on your ends, but it's going to help. It's going to help my ADHD that I don't see all like the fuzziness on the camera lens. Um, did you play Asia Sea of Stars Double Dragon Collection? Um, Double Dragon Collection there, I would say like, um, the, uh, my God, did the game that we played on stream a, a little bit, it's worse now. Are you serious? Because honestly, we upgraded the camera a lot. Like the camera's actually too good now. Like, it, the rest is going to be blurred out because it's specifically done to be blurred out. But I'm using a DSLR now. I got a Canon uh, a Canon uh, SL3 Rebel. as that That's going to be my streaming cam now. You're just joking. Ah, cowboy. Man, stop messing with me tonight. I'm so happy that I finally got, like, a streaming camera that I'm most likely going to have to never upgrade. Isn't cleaning the lens Topaz's job? No, it no, it is not. But yeah, okay, sorry. We get back to um, yeah. The one game that got me extremely interested to what we're doing tonight is GTA Six, guys. I don't know if you guys saw the announcement, but GTA Six is looking at using NPC control, uh, AI controlled NPCs in the game. So we are gonna get a front seat tonight. I am really looking forward to trying this out. I just want to set the stage. Like I said, I did start setting it. It is a proof of concept game. 
So don't expect the biggest game of all time. The idea here is to show how NPCs can actually be controlled by AI and you could actually have real conversations with NPCs. Meaning that instead of having like a pre-rendered text, the NPC is actually going to react in real time to what you're telling it. So obviously we're, we're playing on PC tonight. But honestly, but even though we're a Switch channel, I think that this is so interesting that it's worth looking at. And we're probably going to have some fun with it. We're going to try some things out. We're going to try and maybe mess up these NPCs. We'll see what we can do. But we're going to try and make it really interesting. And we have about probably a few hours of content to work through. Like I said, it's a proof of concept game. So it's not meant to be like this groundbreaking game for the moment. But the developers are going to make, are hopefully going to make it that. And like I said, it is currently in alpha. I got invited early to be able to show it to all of you. So I hope you guys are all excited. I know I'm excited. Like, honestly... I rarely say like, oh my God, I, I really can't wait. But all week I've been waiting to do this and I am really looking forward to it. So with that said, let's start jumping in. Okay. And like I said, like I said, we're hopefully we're going to have some fun tonight. So you can make friends. You can talk and befriend all the Camp Island residents. So basically this is like Animal Crossing with AI generated controlled people, okay? With AI controlled uh, NPCs. Uh, you can design your dream house, earn decorations from living up friendships and doing quests. Now we're gonna have to build our character. So we have the base of uh, this little guy here, or we can select, actually I already have an account, but I think I wanna start over. Hopefully I can start over because I played like literally just five minutes because I just wanted to get the base concept to see like, can we have some fun with this game? Um, and, oh, and I'm still thinking for other games champ, by the way. So I'll, I'll try and I'll give you some other game ideas. There's the dra Double Dragon Collection. There's the one that we played on stream the Mega Man like retro game, but that like you control a robot. Uh, do you have the Do you have the Chronicles collection? Do you have the uh, for uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon? Do you have the double pack that can that always fits in awesome. So let's tr first of all choose a face. So do we want to be loving? Do we want to see wide eyed, uh, like cutesy, angry, sleepy, bewildered, like shocked and sick? I said I want to be the I, I want to be the rage dude. Barely trying, stoked. Oh, they have names here. So hard eyes, stoked, barely trying. Rage, snooze fest, surprised, shell shocked, and dearly departed. You know, I think we're gonna do the stoked. We're stoked tonight, so let's get it. <laughs> um, now we have to choose a hat. We have the cat ears. We could do the cat ears. Someone said cat robot. Yeah, ghost cowboy said. Dream house, a van down by the river. You want something in stock when the game releases? Double Dragon Collection, dude. Chronicles. But you might have it already. Like uh, the, the, the games I'm telling you, you might have already. Um, but uh, cat ears. If not, we can put a baseball cap backwards. A French beret, but nah, I'm not feeling the French beret. A bow Meh. Meh. I sort of like the watermelon head. We have cowboy for ghost cowboy. Uh, let's go with the watermelon head. And lastly, the color of a robot. Ooh, this is this is cool. Like a sort of faded one. Oh, there's a few more down here. We have checkered. Honestly, I'm thinking blue and yellow. 
I think we're going to go with Blue Metal Eva. Um, give me a sec, guys, while I log this in. I don't think we're going to see anything private, but I'm just going to make sure. Okie doke. There we go. MSGT, because that's us. Oh, can't read that. We detected progress. Are you sure? Uh, yes. I'm guessing that was the yes button. So we are on our island, so I, I took the uh, progress. So all I did right now was collect the coconuts. Now our next quest here, we have to meet Chapo. So, hey you. What's up? Yeah, you over there, you look strong, but do you have what it takes to swing a pickaxe? Oh, do you, do you? Well, there's no way you're as strong as Chapo. Come up here and show me what you've got. So we're, we're still in the tutorial section, by the way. Because, like, there's a small tutorial section here at the beginning. And it's basically teaching us the ropes here. Well, don't just stand here. Come over here and press E to talk to me. Okay. Now, is this guy going to be AI controlled? Chat with a villager just like any other friend. Level up your friendship and get the rewards for it. Complete the quest for the villager and get more rewards. Get an axe for Chapo. So we have to chat with him, become friends, and give get him to give us an axe. So, hey, friendo, sorry for being so short with you over there. Say, I've got an extra tool for you if you'd like it. Let's just say, I would love an axe. Do you have one of those? He is thinking. Well, I do have an axe for you, but first you gotta solve this little riddle for me, partner. I'm a shiny metal, so rare and pure in jewelry, in jewelry and more, I'm sure. What am I? I'm a shiny metal, so rare and pure in jewelry and more. You, I imagine there's a there's a missing word used in jewelry jewelry and more. I would say that we're talking about gold here. <laughs> I'm guessing. Hmm. Are you gold? By the whiskers of a wildcat. You got it right, partner. Here's your axe. Now go chop down some trees and make Camp Island proud. Awesome. Now how do I finish this? Alrighty then, let's put your new tool to good use. First grab your axe from your backpack, then follow the trail to find the ore. So... Tap on that, we close our backpack. Here's a nice rock. Try hitting it a few times by pressing space with your equipped axe. So like I said, we're, we're working through the tutorial section. And apparently as we go, the quizzes, the things we have to talk to people are going to become more developed. Like this guy was pretty easy. We just needed to ask him for the axe. He gave us the axe. But... Um, in the future, like, apparently they're, we're going to have to, like, become friends with them. They're maybe going to ask us to do more things, talk to them about different things, stuff, and basically, eventually, give us what we need. So, here we go. We have more here. Oh, boy, crystal. It looks expensive. Nice work, miner. That's all for now. By the way, I have a very important job I could use some help with. Come up and talk to me when you have some spare time. Thanks, friend. You rock. See what I did there? So I guess we have to maybe compliment him. I think that's what the game is trying to tell us. That basically to make the friends, we need to keep complimenting these guys. So, 
Hello again, friendo. Do you think you could help me with something else? Of course I can. You awesome raccoon. There you go. Whoops. Might have to spell raccoon right next time. Well, partner, I've got a bit of a problem. So I don't know. Okay, wait. We, we can claim our coins here. Whoops. Claim that. Okay. Uh, there's a fallen tree blocking the path to the lighthouse, and I need you to find the entrance to an old mine where I lost my special tool. Can you help me out? Of course I can. Anything for you. Let's let's really milk this dude. Well, partner, I reckon that old mine entrance should be around here somewhere, covered in rocks. Keep your eyes peeled and let me know when you find it. Okay, sure. Will do, partner. Okay, so we have to basically search for the entrance. Now, is this the entrance here, you guys think? We have to chop away the... Uh... Oh. <laughs> I guess that was the entrance to the mine. Call him a trash panda. Don't worry, guys. That's on the list. We're gonna... We're, we're, right now, we're following the quest. But trust me, later, we're gonna... We're, we're gonna try... Uh, going the opposite route because I do want to see if they catch on and they actually like I want to see if it impacts you negatively if you stop be if you start being a douche with them so that is on the list of things we're gonna try okay don't do not worry I'm just uh, going to go in real quick and grab my tools of course it's abandoned so uh so long i'm not sure it's safe for you to go in yet with me but hold tight the path will be cleared in no time and hey i promise i'll let you come visit me down there soon boom we've got our sofa we've got our coins and we've got another so Valentina needs our help. So she needs our help by the lighthouse. Didn't that other dude talk about the lighthouse too? So we can hold shift, by the way, to give ourselves a boost. Or we can press shift to give a boost. Apparently we have to press it multiple times. Hi, dear. Have we met before? By the way, guys, later on, I do want to talk a little bit game awards. I do want to talk a little bit about Indie Direct. So we are going to take some time tonight. Like we're going to I want to really focus on this at the beginning here for like a good hour or so. We're going to focus on seeing how far we can push this like tech demo, because like I said, don't forget that this is like a tech demo. And then what we're going to do is we're going to. Uh, reserve a good half hour at least before we end and i'm saying an hour but we might play like two hours like we generally do and um we're gonna be talking I, I really want to talk about game awards and whatnot because oh my god <laughs> you want to mess with the ai by just i am groot we will try it honestly oh uh we will try. Uh, I, like I said, don't worry. Right now, I'm sort of following the quest lines because I do want to see what's up. But after that, we are going to try to mess with them. We are going to try to see if they are like if the uh, AI will really like not give you what you want if you mess with it. So we are going to try. Uh, explore topics and choose from pre-written text. Okay. The ocean is so beautiful today. Ah, oh, but never mind. 
I want to hear more. What's on your mind? Let's try, like I said, we're, we're starting to be nice here. I'm Canadian. I'm nice. After that, we're going to mess with them. Once they love us, then we mess with them. You did pick up the uh, Zelda and Ganondorf Amiibos champ. That is awesome. Seriously. Uh, and honestly, I think, okay, Bowser didn't get that many views. By the way, Bowser's behind me. I don't know if you guys can see him right right there in the studio. But Bowser didn't get that many views, but it got so many likes. Like, I don't think I've ever had a video with such a high ratio of likes to views that I will be doing a, a couple of more Lego things. But like I said, we're gonna a couple we're gonna wait a couple of weeks before we jump on the next Lego thing. Okay. But I already have, like I said, two things planned. And sorry, guys, I'm, I jump from topic to topic tonight, but I'm, I'm in that kind of mood tonight. So I just want to show you guys really quick what I got so far. We're going to open up a bunch of these, the random packs. Okay, so I'm going to get more, but we have a few for the moment. Let's put this camera. Um, we're going to open up these random packs and we're going to do a weight guide. So that you guys are going to be able to pick these packs up and weigh them and get exactly what you want. And by the way, I thought about it because I did try to weigh them at Walmart and they were looking at me weird. But then I just thought about it. Walmart accepts returns as long as the boxes aren't opened. So I actually just bought them, weighed them at home and then returned the ones that seemed like too many doubles. But I did keep a few doubles because my I do want to test if like... We can actually predict and and guess which one, um, which one we have like we got ahead of time, okay. And I also got the beginners course, the Mario beginners course, uh, so that we can. I know everyone's looked at the Mario beginners course already, but I want to get the expansion. So when we look at the course, we're gonna look at it with a few expansions. I got the uh, I got the Mario beginners uh, coursey thingy, so at least we're gonna be able to test it out. Uh, Gandorf amiibos. Okay, let's get back to this here. Okay, so I was about to let her know. I want to hear more. What's on your mind? So we are level one friendship. You can see here that when they were, I just noticed on the left, this is where you can see if they're responding or not to what you're saying, if they're liking it or not. Oh, and she hearted it even. Oh, it's just that I had this dream of performing on a grand stage by the lighthouse, but alas, I lacked the materials to build it. Yay. She wants to perform. So. Is that right? Well, you came. No, wait, well, that's right. Is that right? Uh, question mark. It's your I'm trying to use expressions. I want to see if they're going to understand expressions. It's your lucky day. I happen. To love gathering materials. As you know, we all love the fetch quests. It is a game with AI-controlled NPCs that we're testing out. And it's like a framework for the moment. It, this is an alpha build. Okay, it's a framework. And it got me super interested. I got invited by the developer to sort of show you guys that this is coming. It, it, it's gonna they plan on building like a huge like animal crossing type game but with ai controlled npcs where you can actually have conversations with the people and build real relationships over time because they are ai controlled but where this where my ma mind went immediately is how rockstar said that the next gta 
is going to be using possibly AI controlled NPCs. And I said, I've got to mess with this thing. I've got to see what this can actually do. Hey, Frenchy mom, by the way, and uh, hey, uh, wild. Welcome to the stream. I forgot to say hi to you too when you got here. Oh, how serendipitous. If you would collect one wood and one ore for me, we could make my dream stage a reality. I will definitely get those for you. Or should we try messing with her just a little bit? Should we try saying, couldn't you get those for yourself? Hold on. Let's try it. Let's, let's start messing a little bit. Couldn't you <laughs> those yourself? I just want to see what she's going to actually answer. Oh, my dear, I'm afraid I simply don't have the time for it or the expertise for such manual labor. I'm a delicate songbird after all. Okay, it works. It works. Did you guys watch Upload? Did you guys watch? There's a show on Amazon, an, an Amazon original called Upload. And the concept in the show is actually freaking insane. Where people basically, you have the choice. When you die, or when you're about to die, they can transfer your consciousness to a digital file and have you live in like a digital afterlife but the funny part of it is that basically the show although that seems like an incredible idea and like oh my god people could live forever as like um um you know, like you could live forever like as AI like as, as, as uh, a program in like a virtual heaven, if you would. Well, instead of it, basically corporate greed gets mixed into the show and they, they're selling you everything. So basically, it's like your afterlife becomes basically a way to sap the money from all your living family that want to keep you like comfortable in your afterlife. It, it's insane. It, it is a awesome show. And if you are into the gaming sphere, if you are into like, if you're tired of like games as a service and all that garbage, Upload is so freaking funny. Anyway, so you're a delicate songbird after all. Okay, so we can claim this here. No, we can't. Okay. Um, can I, can I get some compensation? Let's try to get some extra money out of her. Let's see if we can get better rewards. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my dear. I'm afraid I don't have much in terms of compensation. But I promise once my stage is complete, I'll put on a show that will leave you breathless. I feel like be like a real dick and be like, you know, daddy can't eat. Well, no, I can't. You know, like I can't, I can't live with uh, a like a free dance show or some some crap like that. But okay, I guess I can lend you a hand. Just. Make sure it's the best show of your life. Like, I want to see how varied the answers are going to be. <laughs> okay, look, she actually takes what you said and responds to it in the answer. I know it doesn't seem crazy, but it is crazy. Instead of getting a canned response, oh my dearest MG, 
MSGT, your kindness knows no bounds. I promise you, this show will be the pinnacle of my career. So she directly addresses what we said. It is it is actually pretty cool to have like, you know what I mean? Like you, you're actually having a, a conversation with an NPC. Let's just put it that way. Rather than just like, okay, I'm going to tell him. Okay, that's it. You can't earn any more XP for talking to this character. You have to come back in 52 minutes. Okay, so they don't want you to max out like your relationship with someone in like 30 minutes. So we're good. Okay, claim that. Okay, so we have to collect ore and we have to collect wood. So, wood, let's see if I can just chop this bad boy down. Yay! And ore. This looks like ore over here, actually. Woo! You've unlocked new things to do. You can now claim a reward every day. You can now voice chat with other players. Oh, so we can actually voice chat with other players in the game. That's actually interesting. Because, you know, that was one thing that was really missing from Animal Crossing. Is that hanging out with people was really hard to do. Like, you had to use a separate voice app. Like, if you were on Discord or whatever, you were fine. You know what? When she's going to give her show, after I'm going to tell her it sucked. I want to see if she's going to do another one for free. Okay, our goal when she does her show is to tell her it sucks and that I think she can do better. Needle in the hay hat. Now with that musty barn smell. Open up your bay backpack, customize. Here we have a new hat. Noise. Okay, it's pretty cool, though. So we can get more customizations. Pretty chill. Honestly, if they, like, you know, if this game, like, gets fleshed out, this could actually be a, something really, really interesting. And you know what? I can see this fitting on the Switch perfectly. By the way, there is plans, okay? They're, uh, on the roadmap... Starting in 2024, there is a roadmap to get this on consoles, by the way. Not ne like not necessarily Switch, but yeah. Yeah, honestly, that whole, that's that's really one of the main things that got me super interested is when I heard GTA is going to be using this type of stuff. I'm like, wow. Imagine GTA characters, but like you actually negotiate Let's say you say the wrong thing and the NPC starts wanting to beat you down and stuff like that. Like there, there's a lot of things that can actually that we can actually do. Um, there, apparently there's gonna be like there's already here. Like if you go into topics, you have uh pre-rendered sentences and stuff. They I did ask the developer straight because I knew someone was gonna come up with that. Like how are you gonna write with the switch? Don't worry. First question I asked him was, but when this comes to consoles, how are you going to address there's no keyboard? And they want to find a way that or predictive uh, re responses. So you might have a keyboard, but it's going to try to predict your responses and things like that. But it's it's one of the it's one of the problems that they want to try and, and find a solution for. Okay, so. Uh, Okay, so wonderful darling, you've collected everything we need for our brilliant stage. If the developers are here, I know there's I know it's super dumb. Um but I would like when you get back to a conversation, maybe that it marks where you were at at the conversation. Like I remember that this is the last thing she told me from last time and that these are the two new bubbles, but a visual aid that would let you know where the last conversation cut off would be super helpful. In this case, because we're sort of doing everything at once, it doesn't matter. But I can see myself if I start talking to three or four characters alternately, when I come back to the conversation, 
I might get a little lost knowing where I was last time and where I am this time. So like every time you shut down the bubble, when you come back, there should be a visual indicator like where the last conversation ended. Yeah, honestly, uh, like I said, guys, I can't guarantee you 100%, but keep your eyes open for tomorrow at noon. I actually had a eShop deals video planned for tomorrow. I'm going to wait to launch it till tomorrow at noon after the indie world because there is a extreme likelihood that we're going to get like along with the indie world, a massive influx of indie games on sale. And that will be the start of the real Black Friday sales. You need to rewatch the uh, best, best controllers video. I'll make it easy for you. You want the 8 bit though ultimate. If, if you want an all around winner, if you play only 2D games, you're better off with the Pro 2. And honestly, like, price quality i i still think these are two of the best if you want to go something however a little cheaper and it's too bad because i didn't have it you can go with the new nixie controllers it's it'll knock off like an extra 20 dollars, and i think they're already on sale 20 percent off i don't know if you can combine it with my code with the 10 percent for my code it might override it but i'd rather you get 20 percent off or whatnot but yeah yeah, I broke something in this controller, dropping it. There's a part loose in it. It's probably just a little plastic part, but I have to open it up and see what it is. It took a really bad tumble of like last week, um, and I can feel, I can hear something's loose in it, and that that like I said, I have ADHD, so it 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 that kills me. Okay, so let's, um, but yeah, you can watch the video for sure. The The only thing I will say is if you do get the Nix controller, make sure you get the model with the Hall Effect joysticks. It is worth the upgrade, okay? And uh, yeah, that that's what I would say. I honestly, like, I know everyone would love to see a, a, a Mario Wonder sale. I would love to see a Mario Wonder sale. I'm just letting you guys know, I would not hold my breath for a Mario Wonder sale. The chances that Mario Wonder is going to come on sale is like next to zero, especially now with it be nominated in the Game of the Year awards. Like Nintendo is just going to milk that pony this holiday season. It's not in the back here. God dang it. Okay, sorry guys. ADHD problems. We're gonna we're gonna put close this up. You know what the worst is? After stream tonight, I'm probably not going to be able to go to bed without opening it up and finding out what I broke in it. Because I'm that kind of crazy. Okay, get back to here. So, I had a burning curiosity to know what kind of fra your favorite music is, dear. Can you tell me? What's our favorite music? Should I say, like, synthwave, like... Should we try like some kind of like weird style like anime synthwave? Let's do that. I don't even know if that's a real style, but yeah. <laughs> She's like, what the heck is that? I I'll try that one, uh, if not uh, grovel. 90s gangster rap. I like that, though. It doesn't have it, but it doesn't ignore the question just by saying, I don't have it. It actually twists it to say, like, I, I actually like this response. And I was wondering what would happen when we would pinch it in something that the game doesn't know about. Because I don't know if you, but I use a lot. I, I, I play around with chat GPT a lot. And... Um, Chat GPT sometimes will just tell you, like, I don't know this, oh, you know, and whatnot. It'll try to give you directions to, to make it better. But anyway, I was wondering what it would do. And this is actually a really interesting thing. It turns it around and it asks you a question. 
Very interesting. I love anime. Yes, it is. I want to get off, though, the subject of this. Is she going to play anime music, though? Perfect. Okay. But this is like Okay, so she you can see the con the conversation however has ended. You're still missing something? You're so goddamn needy, man. I can't wait to sing, but alas, I have no audience. Okay, so what do you need from me? Man, do I have to do everything? Are you too dainty now to go talk to people and get an audience? Like, what do you need from me, woman? Fred, Mayor Thompson, and Angelina to come watch this show. Okay. Okay, fine. But this is the last thing I do for your show. Let's, let's lay down the law here. It better be. <laughs> okay, now we messed her up. Ah! Now she's like, what? We're being too mean here. She doesn't know how to react. Yeah, it's great. But I gotta get to inviting those people. Oops, I forgot it's it great. Sure, okay, let's go invite Angelina, Fred. So we now we have to go convince them. The, the, the mission isn't to like go find them we have to convince them to come now you know what these dudes are gonna probably ask us to do stuff to get them to come to the show because we're just like the little town helper i want some more minerals we got all the minerals there oh wait rewards claim reward woohoo we got a beanie Actually, I want, uh, yeah, I want the beanie. Freaking awesome. Yeah. Beanie time. Okay, so where is Fred? Where is Mayor Wilkin Benukins? And where is the other one? Who's Wobbles? Whimsy. These are other players, I'm guessing. Who's this? Oh, it's Angelina. Great, another one of you. Why don't you just leave me alone? I would... What's the name of the girl we have to help? Valentina. 
but I have an urgent message from Valentina for you. Urgent! It's important here. Come on. She is putting on a show and would really like you to attend. Help a brother out here. Whoops. Brother. Brother, not Britter. Wow, this guy's... Okay, they did make a douche character. Well, I suppose if she's desperate enough to ask, I can grace her with my presence. Oh, thank you, great one. We will be... I'm being sarcastic here, by the way. Oh, thank you, great one. We will be... So, what what's a word like you know? Not amazed by like, but <laughs> definitely, man. Help a bro out here, man. Don't make me. We will be so, so, not amazed, but like we will be so uh, gracious. Yeah, more than gracious. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna this guy to. I wanna give him some doucheness back. Like, um, oh, thank you, great one. We will be so humbled, humbled by your radiant presence. <laughs> oh, please spare me the flattery. Okay, he didn't like it. We got a minus one. Oh, he got that where we were like being douchey about it. That's actually pretty cool. Just make sure Valentina knows I'm doing her a favor by showing up. Like, we, we've sort of won, but I don't want to let him know he won. Like, <laughs> I don't mind getting, like, a minus 25 with this dude. Um, let's see. Um, just make sure Valentina knows that I'm doing her a favor. Just like, oh, she will. That's... It's not worth our time. It's actually an AI-based game, Rage. It's where we're we're testing out a game that has AI that has AI controlled NPCs. Wow. Well, if it isn't my favorite messenger boy. I don't know about you guys, but it's too bad there ain't violence in this game because little, uh, what's his name? Angelina? She'd, uh, this was GTA. We'd, uh, we'd be attracting the cops right now. It's, it's an alpha build, so you have to be invited to play it. But it's an alpha build that the developer asked me to um, test out with you guys. And he let me like stream it because I said it, I think it would be a fun thing to stream and get some feedback from you guys. Because obviously I can think of stuff to do with the game. But if we're like 20 of us thinking about stuff to do in the game, it's going to be even, even better. What's the latest gossip in town? Let's 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 try something.
you know, let's do like a reverse, like, like let's we're going to say, hey, I, I, I heard that there's someone that others think is sort of like thinks they're better than they are or something. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> let's do, let, let's try a really weird comment and let's see what he's going to do with it. Okay, like, I hope the developers aren't going to be mad at me that I'm, like, turning this into, like, <laughs> a, like, bitch fest with, like, Angelina. But I heard someone slept with your mom and I, I, I guess you guys know what the punchline is going to be, right? If he says like, ah, who? Me! <laughs> let, let, let's see if he goes for it, okay? Oh, he did like us again. He didn't go for it. The NPC is smart enough not to go for it. Dang, he's a tough, he's a tough one. I was sure he was going to go for it and I was going to be able to deliver the punchline. I can't even deliver it off of that answer. He's good. He's good. He's better than I am. God dang it. Man, AI is getting too smart. All right, I'm just going to ask him, do you know my secret identity? I don't know, man. I'm getting, like, really interested with this. Because, like, it's actually pretty messed up that he can actually out... Wow! Wow, he's really not liking me! Find someone else to bother. Like your mom? But no, we're, we're going to drop the mom jokes. I, I, honestly, yeah, th I'm actually impressed by this. That he knows we're like starting to mess with him. It's, it's actually impressive that he knows we're starting to mess with him. We can open up chests. Uh, sure. Let's change our face to a cherry. Okay, so we found one of the people. Oh, who's this? Oh, Mayor Thompson. This is another one. What brought you for a new beginning? And don't be shy. You can tell me anything. I'm all ears. I'm here for the babes. <laughs> you guys wouldn't like my opinions on AI. Come on, AI is some of the coolest shit. Like, yeah, I'm not <laughs> we're gonna get rage. We're gonna get rage boiling. It's. But no, it's all it's all good, man. I don't mind. Honestly, I think AI can be a super useful tool. Um, but I do think we have to start in like encompassing how it's going to be used or like to what degrees. I'm not worried about like AI NPCs and like video games. You know what I mean? It's been a long week waiting for Mario, man. Anyway, the freaking game awards, guys. Mario beat out Starfield. That is my, like, win. <laughs> and I'm just, you know, I, I'm, I'm sorry if there's any Xbox fans out there in the stream, but it's, um, yeah. <laughs> well, my friend, you won't be disappointed. Camp Island is, few, is full of beautiful and interesting characters. Have you met Angelina Arcadia yet? 
That's the douche. Oh my god. So she's like the I'm too cool person. She's a real stunner. Yeah. Definitely not my type. Sort of full of herself. I want to see if he's going to like bitch on her. Let's see. Well, different strokes for different folks, I suppose. But I must say, Angelite, Angelina is quite the entrepreneur. Oh, he doesn't like my answer either. Okay, okay. Well, I guess she is driven and knows what she wants. Let's not have everyone hate us, okay? Let's not have everyone hate us. Um, I have not had the pleasure yet, but I definitely will chat with him. See that he liked. So he doesn't like when we insult other people. It's actually interesting. They probably have different character traits that they respond to. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good deal. If you can get that, it's, is that that double voucher pack thing? It's on Play Asia. There's a double pack. That's actually pretty freaking cool. That's actually really, really cool. Yeah, honestly, I thank you for letting me know. Vouchers are 99. Yeah, okay, so they're 99. So it, it is more expensive. But um Honestly, I'll 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 check into that. Maybe maybe I'll do a post about it or, or a video or something. Um and like we have to get the deals moving like Tomorrow, if it's not, um, tomorrow, if it's not, <clears throat> tomorrow, if it's not, um, if we don't get like a huge, like drop of eShop deals, I, I'll have a, I'll have another 10, like early Black Friday eShop deals out because there are 10 other really good games that came on sale since last week. So I'm going to do another one of those if, but that's like plan B, plan A is waiting and seeing if a huge deal like a crap load of deals drop. If that drops, we're going to do a full video like Wednesday-ish. Plus tax. Um, I know it can make it difficult for credit cards, but you know you can change your address. You, you can change your location to certain states that uh, don't pay tax on digital purchases. <coughs> Texas. And uh, you actually don't pay tax you buy if you say that you're from that state on the eShop and there really isn't anything that checks on the eShop it's just that I think you can't use your credit card unless like because I think it asks for your zip code to check your credit card and I think if it doesn't correspond to the state it messes up but you can just buy like um, eShop gift cards from Amazon you use the gift card and you just don't ever pay tax. That's just a little hack, but you didn't hear it from me here. Okay. If the feds come after me, I will, I will plead, plead the fifth. I never told you guys that that is a thing. Um, so uh, Fred is a fascinating character. He got stories for days about the wildlife on this island. You'll have a blast chatting with him. I promise. Um, Great, can't wait to meet him. To meet him. Now, I don't want him to go off topic. By the way, can you do me a solid? Let's see if he gets... I. Th that's the other thing. Is like, I want to see if he gets, like, expressions. Of course, my friend. I'm always here to help. Uh, what's her name? What's the name? It's uh, Valentina. Valentina would 
really like you to attend her show. So he's liking that. Uh, she says it will be the performance of it will be the best performance of her career. Yeah, we got him. Great. See you there. Bye. Yay, we got Mayor Thompson to level two. But yeah, it's 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 a tiny hack if you don't wanna pay taxes. But yeah. Like I said, you did not hear it from me here. And, you know, yeah. Always be legit. <clears throat> now, let's find this, like, uh, shack where he's supposed to shell, sell, like, fishing gear, he said. Like, I would put a fishing gear shack, like, by the ocean, but I'm feeling it's not going to be there. Or maybe it is. We have a bunch of coins. Maybe it is by the ocean. Unless, is it this building here? Like, can we go in here? Coin shop. Oh, this is where we get to spend our coins. Oh. Uh... We don't have enough. We can't see our coins though while we're in the coin shop. That that's a little annoying. Okay, we only have 517 coins. We 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 poor. We are like poor. We are broke. We we ain't got we ain't got nothing. Uh, you can now travel to other islands with the activity button. Okay. Uh, new. No, I don't want the hard eyes. Oh, Fred Flyfish. Here he is. We got Fred. We got Fred. Oh, yeah, you get 20 US off of a game. That's that's pretty chill. Yeah, you you can now you can post it here if that's a that's a cool one. Your first purchase, you get $20 off. Invite the villager to hang out together, and it will follow you everywhere you go. Okay. So if we close this, he comes with us. Okay, that's pretty chill. So you can invite them to hang out, and then the villager, like, moves around with you. Can we actually, like, get the fish? I know we can get coconuts, right? Yeah, there. He stopped. He stopped following us. I guess because we did the tree thing. Let's let's remove the hangout. Hell stranger, what brings you to the shores? Um, uh, I was looking for you actually. Let's see what we can. Let's see how hard this guy is going to be to convince. Looking for me? Well, you found me. What can I do for you, stranger? Well. Uh, what? No, the question is, what can I do for you? No one has ever asked me that before. Oh, man. 
then we can talk. Okie doke. Okay, sure. Let's try and catch three freaking fish. Wow, he's like, hey, do you catch the fish or are you wasting my time? Like, bro, don't start like the other one. How am I supposed to catch a fish? Hold on, let's ask him. Let's see if he's going to tell us. No, you didn't give us a fishing line, dude. Maybe he gave us one? Did he give us one when we talked to him? Okay, do we have it? Oh, there we do. Yay! Okay. Yay, we have nice little fishing. Oh, there was something in my hand? Okay, sure. <laughs> okay, I think I guess it's space bar to actually throw it. A big fin. Yay. Here it is. Stop running away, dude. Oops, missed it. I didn't want the small one, I wanted the big one. There. I got your three fish, buddy. It actually may it actually feels good that you can be like a little snarky with these guys. I wonder what would have happened if I told him I have the fish but I don't. Would he have called me on it or would he have just been like, "Yeah, sure." I I would have really liked to test that out. Dang it. We, next time we get a quest and the person tells us to collect something, we're going to have to try to, to see if we can actually get him to, to uh, like, respond positively, although we haven't completed the quest. I want to see if, like, it's actually going to gonna call you on this stuff. I must admit, I'm impressed. So what's next on your agenda, stranger? Well, I would... Well, I had a message for you from Valentina. Holiday 23. And that's for what on on uh, on what, what what on what website is that? From uh, Plasia? First time accounts. I wonder if you can just create a new account. It's honestly though, Playasia has a lot of rewards when you buy stuff consistently. So I would say for one twenty dollars, it might not be worth starting from scratch every time. But um, wow. Okay, Valentina, you say. What does that opera singing cow want with me? Spit it out, stranger. Wow, he's like he's like being like not too nice to her, is he? Um, 
Well, uh, she is giving one the best show of her life and would really like it if you attended. Wow. This guy is like, 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 man, they liked programming douchey NPCs here. Assassin's Creed for 43. That's not too bad, but I would wait. That feels like a game that you can get that someone's going to drop to 50% off. Honestly, it feels like Assassin's Creed is like that perfect holiday, like door crasher somewhere that someone's going to drop to like close to 50% off. Um, well, what could convince you to come to the show? I don't know why she wants this guy He that at the show. He's like, I don't give a crap about opera singing cow. She guarantees... She guarantees... It will... Be a very moving and exceptional performance. I just told you, man, it's the show of a lifetime. Oh, yeah, no, I, I got it, Chamtach. I know it's probably just an example. I didn't mean to, like, put them on the spot there. I was just saying, like, uh, Assassin's Creed feels like a game that we might be able to get at a really, really... <laughs> A nice discount. A moving and exceptional performance, you say? Well, if Valentina can truly deliver on that promise, then I suppose I'll have to see it for myself. Noise. We are in business, guys. We we got this. We got this sorted. We got rid of their stuff, and I I don't want to be carrying this around. Oh, we have a metal detector. So there's something. Oh. Oh, we got a gold bar. So if we get to the just the right space, we press. Somewhere around here. A crown. Dang. Another crown. We're getting rich, boys. We're getting rich. Let's open up the backpack. Let's grab our axe. Let's close this up. Let's get this done. Okie doke. Let's move on. Let's get the show on the road. Because let's see what we've got. Hold on, I want to see something here. Villagers. Okay, so we can see our levels with each one of them. And here we have La Angelina's our, our problem character. She's at zero. Everyone else is at least level two. Oh, and you can actually see where they are on the island. So you don't need to go running around like I was doing, trying to guess where they're going to be. That's actually pretty useful. Sweet.
But like I mean, like I said, guys, this is like a proof of concept, tiny little cozy game. But imagine this put into, like I said, like action games or RPGs where you actually have to like chat with the characters and get them to res like figure out how to deal with each character differently. Oh, tell me it's true, Dollaring. Has everyone been invited to uh, my Camp Island debut? Yes, they have. And they can't wait for the show. Let's go. Noise. So when's the show? Ah, there we go. Angelina, I'm so sorry for the way I treated you. Ah, so that's why she was being a little bitchy. You were the reason I was a star, and ever since we parted ways, things haven't been the same. You don't have to say anything at all, darling. I understand. I just imagine in GTA haggling with Hooker for prices. <laughs> oh my god. I a, a love I might have lost. One can only hope that you return with April showers. Thank you. Quest completed. Let's claim all this stuff. We are definitely putting on the Sultan's crown. Fudge yeah. Find out a bit about friend, Fred's past and learn to fish. We did learn to fish. We had to learn to fish to get the fish to do the show. Now we have to go fish again. What is this? No, I'm joking. Sure. Let's go. Let's go do. Let's go. Let's go learn to fish again. And let's go talk to Fred. How are you ask Fred about his fishy past? Like, hey, bro, what's your fishy past all about? Well, well, look. Look who we have here. Another eager beaver looking to make a name for themselves on Camp Island. Let's talk business. As long as the business is fishing. Okie doke. Now, if only I could catch a big bass, maybe she'd let me perform with her. Ha! Huh. Say, Dad Valentina has a croon for more enchanting than a siren's. Uh, maybe she will. Whoops, I'm uh, caps locking here. Well, 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 if it isn't a fish catching wonder. I hear you got some secrets, my man. Uh, that is not what I said. Uh, the rumors are true. I do have a secret mine hidden away in the mountains, but I won't just show it to anyone. You'll have to prove yourself first. Dude, we have to prove ourselves. We have to go kill someone, is that it? Uh, is that your fishy What's up with your fishy past, man?
What's up with your fishy past? Ah, my fishy past. Well, let's just say I've had my fair share of adventures on the high seas, battling fierce storms and reeling in monstrous fish. But that's a story for another time, my friend. Hmm. Can't wait for that time to arrive. We, we need to learn about this fishy past. Hmm. I... Let me just see, because we're supposed to ask him about his fishy past, but he doesn't seem to want to talk about his fishy past. He's like, another time, dude. Um, like, fishing is my business and business is good. Let's do it. Let's try it. Ah, a fellow fisherman, eh? Well, if fishing is your business, then you better prove it by catching some of the biggest fish this island has ever seen. They will be so big, you won't believe your eyes. That's what she said. Uh, what's in the fish, bruh? Ahoy there, stranger. What brings you to these shores? Uh, you see, sometimes, though, when you go a little too off topic, like, well, not, like, you see there, he lost track. So you can see still <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> Let's try it, dude. <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> He's just ignoring it. Okay. That, that that was expected, though, because I don't think there's any way a game that is destined to kids like they pro they probably programmed it nonetheless to, to ignore like stuff like that. So this dude just wants me to f catch three fish again. Like, it's weird because we already did the fishing. Holy crap, there's a big one there. C can I change the angle? Hold on. Can I actually change, like, the my, my vision eye angle? Because, holy crap, there's, like, a big one there. I want the little one. Come on, big fish. Yeah, it wasn't the big one. Oh no, no, we missed the big one. The line was so small and I hit it by mistake. No, we missed a huge ass fish. Oh, is that like a, oh, no, that's, that's like a wave. Where are you big fish? Don't tell me there's no other huge ones. Hold on. Let's go look around. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I guess there's really only fish on the other side where the dude's at. Dang it. Oh, no, there's a fish over there. I can see one here. One out on his own. On his lonesome. Maybe it's a special fish. A happy fish. Noise.
what else can we see here? Like, I want to get, I, I want to try some new stuff. Like, hold on. So let's try and get a couple of quest lines down. Okay, it like, uh, it bugged out. We didn't get the thingamajig and it just let us catch the fish automatically. Not complaining, but we did get a sea foam shark, baby. Shark. Shark, shark, da, 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 da. Baby shark, da, 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 da. I got your fish, man. I got your fish. Yay, we got a desk. When do we get our house? Congratulations, you completed all quests. Here are some rewards. A classy shark hat. Ice cold, cool as one can be. A washing machine. An old TV. I have to tip my hat. It took me a while to fish like that. You could say I'm warming up to you, to you lad. Aha. I knew you would. I'm too likable. Tell me, stranger, what's your favorite childhood memory? Uh, beating Mega Man Two with my best bud. <laughs> oh yes, we're gonna do the I am Groot plan. You're right. Oh, Mega Man 2, a classic game indeed. Tell me, what was your favorite boss battle from that game? And did you and your best bud celebrate your victory in a grand fashion? Everyone loves Cutman. It's cut, Cutman, right? The guy with the saw? Terrible with names, but the guy with the saw. <laughs> yeah, it's Cutman. I'm pretty sure it's Cutman. Conquering a tough game with a friend by your side. So tell me, what was your favorite part of baiting Mega Man 2? Um, the feeling of finishing a game I never thought I could beat. He actually knows about Mega Man. I freaking love this dude now. You see, he's done with the conversation. When they're good, done with the conversation, it like cycles back. Get the reward box. Yeah, we got the reward box. Why does it say new quest available? Okay, so we got that. We got these. So I think I think we actually completed like the um, this part of the game because, like I said, it is really just a tech demo. They told me there was about an hour of content, and we're way past we're we're, we're way past now. We're like at an hour and a half, but we messed around. So I do think that was the main demo. But honestly, I'm impressed. Like, at the same time, there's some kings to work out, but I'm actually impressed with what this could open up. Because, like I said, it, it can add a, it can even add a really new level to puzzles. Because when you think about it, the puzzles aren't only going to be, like, a pre-rendered puzzle, but it's also going to be, like, figuring out relationships and figuring out, like, which characters respond to what and... 
anyway, in my opinion, it, it really is going to be like a mega difference. But let's, I just want to see something first, though. Because they did say at one time that we could travel to a different island. I'm wondering where it is that we can travel to a different island. Or I wonder if they said that. But, oh, look, we can click navigate and it brings you to the people. Let's see if we can make a friend with the with the 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 the, the one I really didn't like. Wow, I never thought I'd find myself listening to Valentina sing ever again. I have to thank you for convincing me for to come watch. Her apology seemed truly heartfelt. I think we're going to, things are going to be different this time. I am glad I could bring Two friends back together. Let's make her not hate us. I bet she does. What did she do that was so unforgive how do you find unforgivable let's just imagine it's like that <laughs> my my english writing is so bad because i have to write in french all the time at work that i i like I, I lost a lot of my english writing wow valentina fired me as her assistant leaving me heartbroken it's going to take a lot more than an apology to make things right between us So that I guess she thinks we're being snarky, which is why we got a negative again. Wow, that is too bad. Okay, so she's done. Like, I think she's like, right now we just have to leave her on her own and... The, uh, that and that, no, I want, I want the rod. Oh, I think we're bugged. I think our rod is stuck. Yeah, I think our rod is stuck. Our rod is, uh, it's stuck out there. I just want to see where is it that it said that we could travel. A puff puff. Hey, can I get a puff puff pass? Oh, this is a new dude. Steve Clinton. Where did you leave? What are you looking for? So we're gonna mess around for another like let's say 10 15 minutes then we're uh we're probably gonna talk some uh, game awards and whatnot now topaz has come to see the lion we started talking to the lion so of course our black cat has to come out the one good news about the new camera is we should be getting less cat butt because the camera is actually higher up and further away so we're probably still gonna get some cat butt but less cat butt. <laughs> Frenchy mom says hi. So does champ dancer Topaz. How are you doing? Huh? She's a good girl. She's been down the whole time and she actually hasn't bothered me till now. So it's actually pretty, pretty, pretty miraculous tonight. Um, can you help me find it? Uh, I sure can, bud. Will will do, friendo. Yay! He he. So he 
he likes the he likes the extra extra niceness. So let's complete a side quest. Chef's hat. I wonder if it's like in a berry bush. Chef's hat down south. I'm like southish. I'm like I'm shaking the berry bushes because he said he was foraging. So I'm wondering if it's gonna fall out of like a berry bush. Where the heck? Uh, you guys see a chef's hat anywhere? To me, south is uh, this away, right? Like, it has to be, like, towards the bottom of the island. Like, do we have, like, a north-south or whatnot? It could be in this section here. So far, it's just everything's been pretty close to where the people were. Oh, is that a chef's hat? I think this is it. No, it's a cockle. Never mind. We didn't get a chef's hat, did we? Let's go look here. Do you see a chef's hat? Hey, inflatable slide. Oh, inflatable slide is coming soon. We don't have access yet. Honestly, I wonder how much content they want to pour into this. It'd be, um, I'm wondering, how, like, because it, it, there can be a lot of, oh, there's crafting. Oh, it's coming soon as well. So we can't craft yet. We have a campfire. Ooh. Oh, we can invite someone down to the campfire. Okay. It's pretty chill. I can't find your chef hat. Where exactly were you when you lost it? So she can clean the top the camera. Yeah. Honestly, I have to get her working. She's a freeloader. She's here home. She gets fed everything and she doesn't do a dang thing to contribute to the household. So you're going to be the ca camera cleaner. Okay, Topaz, that is your job now. That is your job. Guys can't see her, but I'm petting her here. I was down south near the coconut tree when I last remember seeing my chef's hat. It must have fallen off while I was foraging. Okay. Down south near a coconut tree. Maybe it's in a coconut tree. That's a banana tree. That's a coconut tree. Citrus Joy. New. I want to keep my normal skin. No, chef's hat. This is a banana tree. Where is the coconut trees? Like these are banana trees. Like I'm not I'm not shaking them because they actually say banana tree. Down south. Like I'm gonna do these because like maybe the game, the south is towards like the top of the map. 
We shall see. I wouldn't see a freaking chef's hat anywhere, guys. Because I do not. Freaking lying with lying with your chef's hat. You know what? This dude can find his own god dang chef's hat. Oh, there it is. How the he oh, I have to cut it all down. Hold on. We just got it. Booyah. Boom. Chef's hat, bro. Why can't I pick it up? Can't pick it up though. Hold on. Because I think we're stuck on the freaking. Why can't we pick up the chef's hat? It's like right there. Hold on a sec. Where is the menu, menu, menu? Uh, it's down here. Let's see. No, I don't want that. Like, the worst is I can't cast either. I'm, like, stuck. Okay, hold on. We're going to log out. I'm gonna put it at four stars. Um, the fishing rod would not disengage. Okie dokie. Hold on. Yeah, we good. Let me just log back in. Um, give me a sec. Can I just refresh this? Yeah, I can. Okay. Woo! Yeah, I was trying to put the axe away, but it, it was bugging out too. So we're gonna, we're just gonna fire it back up. And we're gonna we're gonna go back in. Uh, give me a sec. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, hopefully we can, yeah, we good. We have them all done. Okay, I don't want, I don't want the fishing rod, bro. I, I made a mistake of taking the fishing rod out again. Okay, but now it's working. If we put nothing, we good. Okay, let's see if we can get that chef's hat now. Uh, backpack, backpack. Grab the shit, grab the axe. Cuddy, cuddy, cuddy.
backpack, put the axe away. Pick up the chef's hat. Okay, let's just tell him the chef's hat there. Right there on the ground. Come on. Woohoo! But he doesn't pick up the hat. I don't know if it's bugged out or I don't know if it's maybe like the quest isn't actually like it's there, but it isn't there yet. And it, it, the game told us we can travel to other islands, but I don't see where we can do it. Is it in the journal? Resources, forgeables. But overall, you know what? I think we're gonna we're gonna stop here because we're sort of going in circles a bit on this, but seriously, I I really like like I said, the proof of concept that we have here. NPC characters can actually work with AI. And this is a super small indie team working on this. And I mean, if they can develop the framework for this, imagine if the idea goes to something like Rocks, you know, Rockstar that has like a huge development team behind it and all the freaking money in the world to get this like crazy. Honestly, I think they can have something really interesting here, this little team here with Campfire. And if they keep building on this like life sim concept and they get like it really fleshed out and huge, it can actually be something really awesome. And, you know, like I get this one is like kids themed and all this, but I would even go with like a really adult themed version as well. You know, maybe restricted for adults and whatnot or, 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 or some kind of way for the game to know how old you are and whatnot so that it lets you sort of interact in a different way with the characters. But that would be something super interesting that I would love to see. Oh, we can throw the ball. Okay, so let's uh, let's close these up. Hold on, do I close this up? Now there, are, I, I wanted to look at the eShop too. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to start it up. I wanted to look at the eShop because there's a f couple of really amazing looking games coming out this week, and I'm trying to get codes for them. I haven't gotten any yet of those three games. I know there was three. I want to look at it. Um, but I sort of want to get your vibe because we're definitely doing Mario RPG on Friday. Uh, but just to let you know, Mario RPG is going to be a little later than usual because I'm working, unfortunately, my nine to five job till about eight on Friday and there's no way to move it around. But there's no way I'm skipping Mario RPG either on launch night. So I'm going to get home, eat, um, talk to the wife, you know, get things settled. And most likely we're going to do a late night stream on Friday instead of a normal time. However, I might, might, okay, I, I don't want to, I don't want to put guarantee it yet. I might do a normal hour stream on Thursday. But that's if I get the codes to one of these, um, to one of the, the games I actually want to try out. I'm interested in seeing how Hogwarts turns out, by the way, but um, I don't think that Hogwarts is going to be um, like something I want to play on stream. <laughs> but we, we will see. We will see. Um, why is my... I cut this out. Why is my Elgato not 
showing up. Give me a sec, guys. Hmm. Give me one sec, guys. Let me just see if my capture card is still working. And now my other controller gets thrown. No loose sound. We're good with this one. <laughs> it's the freaking ultimate on top of it. No, cancel. Give me a second. I'm not sure why my capture card seems to be on the fritz. But I did move things around to get my new camera working, and I hope that that didn't mess things up. That guys, I'm right back. Ooh. Okay, you guys can probably hear me, but you can't see me. And there does seem to be an issue between my camera and my capture card. Because now you guys can see the eShop, but you can't see me. So just give me a second here. You can see both, right? And you can hear me. We good to go. Retitle the stream to breaking controllers. Yeah, exactly. You know, I have too many controllers, so I've decided to break a few. Hold on. Let's uh, let's leave this. Let's open up. How did you guys find that, though? I, I found it was a really interesting concept. Now, I know the game itself, maybe for the moment, is still in its infancy and it's like a little basic. But I really thought it was the concept of actually playing with AI controlled um, NPCs, especially since we just learned that one of the biggest games of all time is most likely going to be using it. I found that super interesting. Now, give me just a sec here. Let me grab this. Let me let me just put some background music. I want to put that Mario Lo-Fi again. It's freaking amazing. Do you guys like the Mario Lo-Fi, by the way? During, I know it's the same one I played on stream the other night, and maybe you guys heard it, but during the Lego build, for those of you that watched it, um, did you guys like it? Because I, I, I really love that, that Mario Lo-Fi. And not everyone lets you use it, like, for content creation and stuff. So I was really glad that they do. I'm gonna down it a bit. Johain and the Par Par Parhelion? I don't, I don't, I don't even know about that game for the moment. Let's let's is that is that coming soon, champ? Like you know when it's releasing? Is it already visible on the eShop? You can go take a look. Honestly, I'm uh yeah, I'm I'm vibing to the lo-fi stuff. Like I already had the Zelda lo-fi that you guys know I use all the time. November 16th. So it should be here. Let's take a look. Karma Zoo. Karma Zoo looks interesting, but this is not one of the three, by the way. But it, I still um, found it looked interesting here. Share the love of uh, love and die trying. Like the art style looked interesting, but I wasn't sure. Like 
precision platformers right now, I've just played so many over the last little while. There's actually one really original one that I tried. I'll show you guys the, the outline of it. Um, I tried like five levels of it. It was actually interesting enough that I do want to try it. On, on, on Playasia for physical. But do you know if it's... It, the first one is The Last Fate. This game looks... At least visually, it looks amazing. It's another Metroidvania meets Souls-like. And this one is looking pretty freaking sweet. The only thing is that $35 on the same week, like if I don't get a code spending $35 on the same week that I'm going to spend like full price for Mario RPG, like the next day is a little bit too much for the channel budget at the moment. Um, so I don't Topaz, you have to stop now. You're hitting the microphone and you're making me almost close the shop. Put your butt down. Put your butt down. It's all good. Just just lay down. Okay. Oof. But yeah, so the last fate looks freaking amazing. And I would like to play this on Thursday if I can get a code. This is one of them. What is the other one? Oh, there is no light. This one looks crazy, but it's an action adventure RPG. It looks like a Zelda like, but super dark. This one looks really, really interesting too. There is no light. And um, did I see, what did I see? Was this the one that I saw that they did some pretty good other games? No, I guess it's the, oh yeah, they did Tunche. That's it. They did Nova Lands, the one where we were building the islands that I played totally wrong. On the right side, I'll, I'll grab it. Hold on. You're right. Uh, oh, Johan and the party. And I hadn't noticed one. Noticed this one. It's Inti Creates. Inti Creates, by the way, is the is the are the people that do um, the uh, what you call it. Um, Gun Vault series. Um, so generally, 2D action platformers, they, they are some pretty solid. Yeah, actually, it looks pretty freaking good. And there's a doubt, there's a demo. So we're downloading that. Um, maybe we can try the demo. Yeah, uh, Johan challenges an underwater Lambert. It is a 2D action game. Uh, Blaze in the Deep Blue. Johan the Player is an official spin-off of Love Live Sunshine. I don't know what Love Live Sunshine is. Johan's fantasy world sets the stage for a 2D Metroidvania, and Johan the Blaze in the Dow, taking control of Johan as she ventures into a mystery. It, this feels a lot like the one that they did for Galgun, the spin-off that they did for Galgun that was actually really good too, that we played where you play the two different characters and as long as the two characters don't die, you don't die. It gives me the same type of vibes. Yeah, well, like, honestly, I didn't really play the, much of the Galgun series and I, I still really enjoyed that other game. So, um, but per pretty much those are the two games, like there is no light this and maybe now Johan and the uh, Parkillion, uh, Blast Blue, uh, blah, 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 Barrel loves Galgun, yeah, definitely. Everyone loves Galgun. Hold on. I think my daughter's playing Fortnite on my freaking main account. Give me a sec.
Okay, give me a second. Uh, plan B. It's not answering me. Uh, plan B. Uh, the main account on this one is another one. Give me just a sec, guys. I'm going to have to do this real quick. Managing, managing too many switch accounts and now my switch froze wow i've never had my switch freeze what my switch actually totally froze and not like the capture card the switch itself we broke my switch Oh my god, man, if my OLED dies on me, I'm gonna, like, cry so hard. Hold on, I think we're good. Give me a second, guys. good that's good i think it didn't like the delete and all that yeah it goes with breaking controllers i'm certainly gonna take it apart like as soon as we end the stream like having that little thing bobbing around in it like the controller yeah it doesn't have any issues so it's really probably just like some useless thing that i loosened in it by the way guys i'll, I'll don't worry I'll, you'll be able to see the screen in in a couple of seconds okay we just had an unfortunate uh sidetrack there I know we didn't want recent one is coming soon. Yeah, I ne that never had been to me in all the years of the switch. Basically, I could see the switch menu. Like, I wish I could see it because I was I was like in the middle of putting in my password, so I couldn't show it. But I could see the switch menu, but basically everything would freeze. And even the only thing I could do is I held down the home button. It opened up like, you know, the, the put it to sleep menu. But when I tried to put it to sleep, the menu just stuck there. And then it was completely frozen. I couldn't move it. Then when I undocked it, I got a message saying, press the power button and it, to restart your switch. And if the problem persists, call Nintendo support. I was like what nintendo heard me tell you guys that there were no tax in certain regions and they sent the ninjas to kill my switch can you imagine can you imagine that would be it they sent the nintendo ninjas to freaking kill my switch if uh if we play through a good part of the demo i'm probably gonna separate it on stream tomorrow and like post the, the, the demo footage we're just going to see how long of a demo we've got here. This one should be good because we should be the main switch for this one. Because my main main account, this is not the main switch because my my normal switch, I want my kids to be able to play the games when they're out of the house. So that I have that one as the main main switch with all the games because obviously they want you know i i, I don't want to, i want them to be able to play any of the games i have so that's when that's that's why my main main account is not actually the main account for this switch 
even though it's the one I play on all the time. <laughs> okay, so let's try this. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna kill the Mario music so that we can get the vibe of this music here. We're not getting any music, are we, from the capture card again? Oh my God, what is it tonight with 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 making my life freaking difficult? There we go. At one point, everything's gonna work, guys. Now let me just kill the music on my end. I killed it for the stream. There we go. And I missed most of the storyline, but I'm imagining it's not important. This sunken dungeon really is an enigma. I can understand both the residents and the administrative of Biro's intrigue around it, more so when it seems to have just spawned out of nowhere. But no one could have imagined the sheer scale of the interior, or that it'd be crawling with monsters. Even Chief Secretary Dia went missing after entering. I just hope everyone's okay. Dia's part of the Bureau and Rico's a scholar, so I get why they would go missing, but... Kanan and Hanamaru, they're just regular townsfolk. This is absolutely a case for Johan, purveyor of darkness. Awesome. It's time to venture into the unknown, explore the unexplored. No need to put on airs, Johan, 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 I would say Johan would be better. I know you're worried sick about everyone. Well, yeah, I am. Don't worry, they're a sturdy bunch. Let's find and bring them back ASAP. Um, always reassuring to have your help, Laylaps. Okay, so we can move the D using the D-pad. If I press Y, this dog comes out. X shows me the map or hides the map. Circle does nothing. And the triggers do nothing for the moment. So, though I'm once again getting very much Gunvolt vibes because we have that same mix of like higher detail backgrounds with lo lower detailed characters. <laughs> Don't hesitate to summon Laylaps whenever you want to attack. This can be done in mid air and while crouching too. Is there, a f there there's a physical you said on Play Asia, right, for this one? Okay, there's a fair bit of um, recovery time before you can attack a second time, so don't miss. We've got a Mega Man slide. Awesome stuff. One of my favorite moves. <laughs> Selecting cast from the pause menu will allow you to combine materials to create new weapons and accessories. Weapons can be equipped from the equipment menu. ZR. Okay. Get some stuff here. Violet Shell. See Ta Mahagane. Topaz, sit down. So, pause menu, cast. So, we can make a Qatar. You need a. Okay, they give you exactly what you need to make this. I just want to see what the other stuff there is. Like, okay, we have none of this. Oh, we, we almost have this. Let's build a guitar. Hey. 
Using weapons using weapons consumes DP darkness points under normal circumstances, but they'll consume HP instead if you run out of DP. So be careful how you use them. Okay, so let's not just use them anyhow because it'll actually sap our life. Yeah, Topaz is excited. He's like, she's like, uh. That was just bad on my part. We spoke. Can we like? No, we can't like suspend, jump, and then double jump. Dang. Dang, you crazy dude. I'm liking the gate. I'm liking the movement so far. Movement is crisp, responsive, and how we're, and like, although we're definitely getting like general Metroidvania vibes, like you have to feel it, but there's a serious delay between each mo like attack move, meaning that this is going to be a game probably that you're going to have to be very deliberate about your attacks. You can't just like spam the attack button. Uh, proceed to the left to, to find a save room. Your HP DP will fully restored. Don't hesitate to hide out in them whenever you're in trouble. Like the thing is, we just played a really good Metroidvania uh, on stream Friday, and which got patched up and is now very soft. Like it, it was already patched when we played it, but nine doors. So it's awesome that we're getting another one. We can cast something. A ring. Gives 5 HP and 50 DP. Is that it? It's like... So it boosts us. This is actually pretty interesting that you, like, make your own, like... That you make your stuff, at, like, that you can just, like, craft... Like, crafting isn't new, but just crafting, like, randomly anywhere is... Threaded blade, a unique weapon that combines the properties of a sword and a whip. And we can make another ring. Sure. We're gonna make everything we can, right? Like, let's. Okay, so we have way more range. Way better for dealing with these guys. Yeah, Persona 5 Tactica. Like, honestly, we've still got, like, mega weeks coming up. It's insane. Like, it, stuff just doesn't stop this year. <laughs> like, uh, like, I'm super happy because we have, like, a lot of stuff to talk about and all that. But, like... Oh my god, sometimes you would like a, a tiny rest. Yeah. Bad call. But honestly, this one looks very promising from what I can see so far. We needed to use a weapon there. Let's see what we can cast. Earring. Okay, so more HP, less DP. So we can do this.
Like this one is only a weapon and this one is like only a jewelry. Look at it. Ah. There we go. Dagger, your standard throwing knife. Okay, so now we have a ranged weapon. Like, it, it's pretty interesting so far. I'm just wondering how heavily they're gonna lean into the whole, like, building mechanic. In the sense that, like, are we going to get to actual places where you're going to have to hunt down and build a specific weapon or item that just won't, like, you won't be able to pass, like, a certain boss or something unless you have a specific item and you really have to gather things up? Yeah, no, it looks interesting. Thank you for uh, pointing it out, Champ Dancer. And, I mean, obviously we can't tell everything from the demo, but already... Number one, Inti Creates never really makes bad games. They'll make games that are maybe less up your alley than another game. Like, depending on, you know, like, if you like 2D platformers. But they rarely make a game where I was like, oh my god, I can't play this one. Like, off the top of my head, one of the ones that I would say would probably be most... Not controversial, is like maybe Kogan sort of Rewind. You have to really be in more for like a difficult like gameplay ish for it but even that one i loved it's just maybe not going to be as much for everyone as gunvolt could be if say there's more to his room than meets the eye but nothing seems to be happening at the moment come back later first and foremost okay Nothing here. I know it says we can build something new. I would like to find a save room, maybe. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, so our dagger really sucks. What's nice is you don't actually have to go, like, gather things. If you kill a monster, you, like, get the item automatically. So we can't move this. We most likely will need, like, some kind of ability to move it. I'd like to find another save room, if at all possible. Ah, uh, there we go. I say, you know, look, I, I don't know what it is, but lately with Metroidvanias, I, I have the I have the timings down. Oh, let me through. Okay. Let's just see what it wants me to catch. Oh, Cotton Cape. I keep coming in at Nazu. So, le, HP, DP, meh. Diving suit. Canon standard diving suit made out of rubber. It insulates the flow of electricity, reduces electric damage. Uh, this could be fun, though. This could be really fun. Let's say they don't make you have to use items, but if you get the right items, like, look, electricity. So you you can actually get to a boss, be like, holy crap, this guy uses electricity. Let's build electric, electric resistance. Oh, 30 HP, 80 DP. This one's massive. 8 HP, 85 DP. But this is better. Now, can we actually see the Crimson Cape? No. See, I, I would have liked the character, however, to visually change. And we do have an electric character. And I didn't build the electric resistance thing. God dang it.
Oops. Can actually mash through the I'd love to see his HP somewhere. I don't think these I can mash through though. Messed up the pattern there a little bit. Well, most likely I maybe could have still built it. <laughs> I didn't even check. But, you know, I knew I was too good for him. And I didn't really need the electric armor. Because, you know, I'm just that good. <laughs> Let's just go back and save first. Could we have, uh, could we have cast it? No. No, I, I was... I messed up. Well, honestly, 30% less per, would have probably given you, like, a lot of... Uh, a lot of maneuver, like, room to maneuver. Chica, why are you here? Johan, you're a lifesaver. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. Are you alone? Do you know where everyone else is? Everyone else? You're telling me I'm not the only one here? Well, that answers my question. Something tells me this is a one rescue per boss situation. I love that fourth wall breaking. Honestly, I really like that, especially in retro style games, because, you know, we know it's a retro style. So the fourth wall breaking works a lot easier, in my opinion. Let me join the search for everyone else then. Are you serious? I mean, I can use all the help I can get. I don't just don't get yourself caught again, okay? Hey, <laughs> won't make the same mistake twice. Times like this are when a hero of justice shines. Don't hesitate to call for me whenever. So what, do we swap characters? Or is it just like she's going to become a special ability? She can now be summoned. Okay. Oh, what does this do? Is she like a cast? Oh, L. Okay, hold on. This is the summon. Chica stuns enemy with her Jutsugun. She can also knock things out of place. So she replaces the wolf. But she uses uh, DP. Does the wolf use DP? No, it doesn't. Hmm. We're going to try her out for a while, though. Oh, we need her to do this. Boom. Told you we need an ability. Hold on. Let's go back to the other thing because we missed a room. We missed a room. Well, I don't think she replaces because I think that they're purposely like going to give you abilities. Like, I don't think I don't think as you get other abilities, they will completely invalidate the other ones. Like you can see here, like... In my opinion, there are going to be situations where one's better and others where the other's better. Like, definitely the wolf here is... Hits harder. So, like, I find the wolf is a better, like, all-rounder here. And basically, we're going to be swapping to her when we have, like, 
a situation that requires her. I can't really, uh, dang. We're gonna have to come back. We need more than just this ability. Unless there's something that I'm not seeing. I've heard this soundtrack before. Like, it's a good soundtrack, but I'm sure I heard it somewhere before almost. Or maybe it's just a this particular track, like a track that really sounded very similar to it. Like, I also wonder how far the demo is going to go. Yeah, it's just that like right now my weapon is a ranged attack, so it feels like ranged over ranged is like ranged overkill. Okay, my two, my, like, both my weapons are garbage. <gasps> Hold on. Like, I think the Qatar is going to be better because we can, like, stun. We can stun with, the, with, with her weapon and then we can, like, the Qatar is the one that I have that does the most damage. That's actually a good mix. We stun, then we go in with the Qatar, rip his ass open. <laughs> Breaking the blocks with her though is slightly annoying because her attack is so like limited. Okay, we can't go underwater, so it's like the other one. It's like the other Metroidvania we played this week. We're most likely going to have to get a swim ability later on. Well, the map seems huge. Because <laughs> we, like, keep going and there's always art alternate directions. Whoa, that hurt. A lot. Nice. Actually, we have to kill enemies because enemies give us, like, items. Silver ring. Uh, no. Takes off too much HP. Thing is, we're sort of running around, but, like... God dang. Oops. 
Come on. Down. Okay. Those were like, that was a whole, like, set of special rooms. Okay, Fortune Teller's Veil. Uh, trusty Veil, Fortune mainly just for show, but lacks in special powers. Okay, so who cares about that? Stiletto, a, a dagger designed for close combat. Okay, looks awful. Like, super low power, no DP, and takes a bunch of crap to make. Like, no thank you. Bronze ring. All this crap. All this is crap. Or, so far, it looks like crap. We, can we? Oh, yeah, okay. We can zoom out on the map. Pretty good. I was worried. I'm like, if we have to deal with just that tiny little map... Uh, I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll post it separately, Champ Dancer. Though I'll 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 post it separately tomorrow, just so that people can. Because if I if I change the title, it's gonna change the title for the whole stream, re like the replay of the stream. So what I'm just gonna do because people popping in are gonna watch the beginning. They'll see campfire, which fits with the title, and then tomorrow I'll take the section where we're playing this and I'll repost it separately. Um, like I do most of the time now when we play more than one game, like, on a stream. So we're back to the beginning. I'm just gonna look if we can, um, we can go this way. That could have been costly. There's like a treasure chest here. Yeah, we have to move quickly. Watch that. We've gone here. We went here. It's the other way around. Dang. Dang, I'm going the wrong way. Unless we can make it down there now. can go that way. There's a room down there, however, that we haven't visited that we can go through to go to. The one thing I hope though later, if the map keeps getting this big, is that we'll have some form of fast travel. Because for the moment, that's like the only thing feeling like right now we're still very manageable. But I can see this becoming an issue if like later on we you don't get fast travel like there's down here first i feel like going down here first just because we know that that up there is like a big transition
<laughs> that was close. That was very close. Oh, we're gonna need some ability there to get through the ice wall. I'm feeling like we're getting to a boss, though. I don't know if you guys are getting that feeling, but I'm getting that feeling. Save room would be really nice. Uh, the ruins were another area. Crap, how, how big is this demo? Like, honestly, I, like, no offense, I, I want it to be as big as possible. I'm just surprised it hasn't already ended. <laughs> They like forget and they release the whole game. Yeah, we can't go underwater here. Like, I don't know. It, it feels wrong to go to another section when we haven't finished this one yet. See what I mean, though? Fast travel because. Like, I want to go... I want to go here-ish. Because, like, we've, got, we've done pretty much all this. We've done all this. We have up here that we could... We have here and here to revisit. This is a one-way route. I'm going to try it, though. You know what, though? I'm jumping over this stuff, but I didn't go check if there was a route down here. No, there isn't. At the same time, there's a chest down there, but I think we go get that chest through the water that we can't travel through yet. Are you talking about the thunder suit? Yeah, probably. You're making fun of the the game the other night. <laughs> uh, no, it's up. And we can't get there because we don't have a water traversing ability. Awesome. Let's see if... Wreath made of canola for us going into the heart district. Canoles are a symbol of vitality. I'd like them to compare it, though, to the stats on your current item when you're in this menu. You just think I never crafted it? I don't think any of this says... Like, it would probably say, like... I'm pretty sure it would say, like, this lets you swim. We're going to have to go through all these things again. Ouch. Okay, we we're going to stop doing that because I'm taking a shit ton of damage. I say that and I get hit like again. No! What happened? Oh, 
Oh my god, it's the same as in freaking Gunvolt. You have an occasional thing that's gonna freaking save you. Weird. I'll look properly. Maybe there's a compare option and I didn't see it. But I don't think so. Like, not only did it save us, but it made us, like, semi-invincible. Ooh. I'm gonna have to be a little more careful. Oh, dang. Can't even make it. Can't make that jump. Oh, can I actually do this to propel me? No. Okay. I was wondering if I could jump and use the uh, thing to propel me. Save room. We're collecting a... Oh, gat grab. Okay, hold on. Now we've got... A... Holy earring. Prevents poison. Okay. Prevents solitude. An experimental... Uh, though it serves uh, for its purpose well, it's a... Hardy says some improvements are ordered before it's, it catches on with the general public. It seems pretty good. I just don't know if it's actually higher than what I'm wearing. 3080 it is. Perfect. So we upgraded. Ah. Okay, so let's see if we can get up here. for us up there awesome so we probably went all around here for absolutely nothing because we most likely have to go to the ruins because we are stuck the only place we still have left to explore is this little section here where we can go that way and we can go down I'm still gonna go there just because we're this close And we have down here that we can actually
Like, it's an interesting Metroidvania. And I like the fact that it doesn't really tell you where to go. But it's one of those that you're going to probably end up backtracking a shit ton. Simply because it doesn't tell you where to go. Ah. Wait. Oh. No, I just dropped where I shouldn't have. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Are you serious? Back to the right? Oh, hold on. Hey, wait, we're going to go back. We have new stuff that we're supposed to be able to cast. Okay, crossbow. The crystal ring. There's no save rooms nearby. Eh? Oh, I knew that. I was like, I knew that was going to happen. I'm like, why the heck did I just wait there? I had to keep moving. Let's just go check here because this might be a save room. It is. Uh, just looking at the map design, you can, I, I'm starting to sort of get a little bit of a hint of how they're building it. The world. So... Okay, hold on. To the right, there was a cart you could grab. I'm gonna go back to the right. Don't worry, guys. Just wanna check here. The section where I can't go any higher, you mean where there, there was like the electric machine and I couldn't go any higher? Is that it? Looks like on the bottom left, there was a right, there was a rock. Okay. We'll go back there. Oh, oh, this way. So I guess I do have to go here. So we pretty much adventured all of these. Minus this. But this we can get back there this way now.
like this one here because this is the one that we opened here to make this open like basically this was what was preventing us from going directly there at the beginning but i'm just gonna let's go to the right here because you said to the right Or were you talking that the the thing was at the top of where, like, was it where I was at the top? Because, yeah, that thing, I can't move it back the other way because we just can't get the other way. Let's just go. Let me just go look at up top there. And then I'll go back to the section where... You guys said, and I'll I'll, I'll go back to the top, and you, I'll look more carefully. Here, like here, I can't get there. Okay. Honestly, I'm just not fighting him again. <laughs> I just don't feel like it. It would be like up here somewhere ish. Oh, don't worry about Frenchy Mom. It was a good it was a good try. Don't worry, guys. Like, and it's easier for me to um, remember the sections because I'm like playing the game. So, no problemos. Don't worry. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go to the other section because I think we fully explored what we could hear, and everything we couldn't explore, we just basically couldn't get there. So I'm assuming we have to go to the ruins. Most likely, the ability is gonna be in the ruins, and then we come back. Like, I, I, there's this here, but, like, I don't see that we can power this with anything we, we have. Like, the diving suit. Okay, we're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build it. Because it says it isolates against lightning. Just if we get to water, I'm going to see if the diving suit lets us dive to the bottom of the water. I know it's dumb. It's called a diving suit. It doesn't say it's part of the abilities. But I'm like, what if what if it's just because they're, they're, they want you to be obvious? And like, you have to realize yourself that, well, it's a diving suit. And, oh, okay, you can hit R, switch. And unfortunately, no, the diving suit does not let you dive. So that was a bust. I built that for nothing. Well, not for nothing, because we... If we do hit another electric enemy, we have our... You were wrong. The best of us can admit it. The best of us can admit it. Just messing with you guys. I'm wrong on a constant basis, so... I feel your pain. We are all human. Okay, man, we're gonna go to the ruins. Honestly, I'm vibing with this game. Oops, I like the control scheme. I like the control movement. Everything's flowing like... And it's giving me real, like, there are Metroidvanias that help you along the way a lot more. 
This one is giving me like a pure Metroidvania where they're really helping you very, very little in knowing where to go and you've really got to just adventure through it. Now, some people are going to find that frustrating. Other people are going to focus more that it's more on the Metroid than the Vania side. You know what I mean? Like, so it, it it's it's good or it can be bad depending on what you like as a Metroidvania. Okay, we did this. It's the fire thing. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. It, it, like Metroidvania, some lean more on the Vania, some lean more on the Metroid. This one definitely leans more on the Metroid. Like Metroid, remember when we like, if you guys played Dread, like, or the one of the classic ones, you just want like, when you're stuck, you can wander around for like hours trying to figure out where to go. Still at one point, a stroke of genius hits. And like that. Who knew you had to fall through that thing? Oh, that should be a boss, right? Last time that opened up a boss for us. Aha. Hey, okay. boom. If this is a boss, we might be getting a new ability. It is a boss. Saved boss time. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think we can stun lock him maybe like this. Oh my god, we beat him with like one hit left. <sighs> like, I need to go save. Like, blah. Like, if I get hit by anything, if I get hit by anything, I'm dead. So the cannon basically stun locks him. Like, if you, like, the trick with him, and I wasn't doing it right, is when he's about to do his, like, shot, you've got to stun lock him. Like, whatever, ah, we, like, this has to be the right way, right? Because we just went through the boss. We beat a boss and it gave us nothing. Like, it gave us, like, not nothing, but you understand what I mean? Is like, normally you beat a boss, you get, like, a little upgrade or something. That gave us freaking nothing.
Mm, we're going back to where we beat the boss. Those are not breakable boss. Those are part of the background. Like I can't stay there and like in the poison. That sort of sucks. Am I gonna die from poison here? Like, how long does poison last? Dang it. I waited way too long to use this. Now I'm stuck. I'm being pulled down. No! Ah. Yeah, honestly, it's a, it's, a, it's a huge demo. Like, for a demo, I wasn't expecting this. Like, uh, normally a demo, it's like 45 minutes to an hour. We're like... Well, we're, we're about an hour in. Okay, I I didn't read the dialogue there. Maybe I should have. I just was expecting it to... Uh... Oh, we can purchase healing items. Honestly, I just feel like we, we're just going to grab like... And healing potions? Sounds good. We don't need the rest. What, we get to go back exactly where we were? Oh, we get to choose where we go back. Not too bad. We don't jump over the sand, you're effed and you get pushed back. Like, are we stuck in like an endless loop here? No. Like, I was wondering at one point if we were stuck like in an endless loop type thing. Like, eventually we're going to get another special ability. Or we're just going to finish the demo. Like, uh, honestly, I keep forgetting we're in a demo. <laughs> like, there are points where I'm forgetting we're in a demo because I'm like, I just keep going and then I'm like, wait a minute, at one point this might end. Like, at any point they could just be like, yeah, you've, you've gone as far as you're supposed to go. Goodbye. See when the see when you actually buy the game. But uh yeah. 
But if they're letting you demo this much... Like, I'm feeling like the actual game must be pretty big. Because I don't see that they would let you play like a quarter of the game. You know what I mean? We can't go this way. Aha. Okay, so we're stuck once again here. We don't have the abilities needed. Like, it'd be really fun to start getting some abilities here. Like, really, really. We still can't go here. running out of DP. I'm running low on DP. I'm not going to say out, but I am starting to run probably low on DP. Okay, hold on here. Okay, so we went there. We went here. We cannot go any further that away, miss. And I'm pretty sure yeah, we went there too because I went behind the save thing. So this way is blocked. We didn't go up this way. And we have these ways. And these are this this is a shitty part. Actually, I think that it's less shitty going this way. Yeah, it is. Going the other way it was like uber crappy. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I didn't want to drop all the way down, but okay. Oh, there's a chest. Not bad. Once again, can't make it there. So we are going to have to ride this thing to the medium level. Put this away. So that brings us back here. Safe spot. Another boss room. I just want to go this way first just so we can see what's here. Can't go any further there. So most likely this is going to be a boss that gives us an ability. Now let's just check what we can build here. Many use for hunting, post combat. Okay, we can switch between weapons. We can actually end. Oh, some of these are powerful down here. Wow, 410. Get platinum cloak. Anyway, we can't. I think we have the best one right now. Yeah, we have a chemical cave. We actually have a... We'll see, because if, if it seems like the boss poisons, we'll, we'll need the one.
Oh, yeah. Uh, was that on X, Tony? I think it was on X, right? You sent me that. You're right. Now I remember. Um, I think I wrote to the developer directly, though. So theoretically, like I wrote to them, just maybe not on. I think I went on their website and I wrote to their their marketing team. So theoretically, that should work. But thank you. You're right. And I think you're the one who put it on my radar. Ah, uh, why, 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 why? Okay. I'm, I'm messing up big time here. What the heck? Okay, hold on, guys. This is a... Um... Like, uh, honestly, I just can't. Okay, we are, we're going to have to restart this. I don't know what I did there. I kept hitting the R instead of the ZR for whatever reason. And that kept switching me. Oh, we, we have health potions. I'm forgetting. God dang it. How can I, um, whatever, we'll just load up, we'll, we'll beat him, like, honestly, I'll just beat him by, like, smashing his butt, like, with health potions, who cares? Yeah, I, I wrote to, I, but I wrote to them, but yes, thank you very much, Tony, you're right, I remember now that you wrote to me on X. I, I think it was on X, right? But either way, I, I remember, yeah, you wrote to me on something. Yeah, like, I don't know what I did that other time, man, but that was, like, I just garbaged it up on my, like, like, I really, like, and the worst, I did it, like, five times in a row where I was hitting R instead of ZR. Yeah, exactly. Well... Definitely, uh, it, it, you're right, but, and, and anyway, like, even if I don't get a copy, I'll eventually buy the game. Like, I don't mind buying games. I just, like, the only reason this week is that, honestly, if it was 15 bucks, I wouldn't mind buying it on top of Mario. It's just that, you know, a $40 indie game, like, well, 35 because for me, 40 because, like, it's 35 American. I think I was in the maybe I was on the Canadian maybe that's why it was 35 but anyway it, either way like where there's 35 or 40 um you know it, it, it's it's just a little bit I don't mind buying games but like 120 dollars of games especially when we have a ton of other ones coming out very soon Please tell me we don't have to fight all of them again the other way around. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> I was like, man, I don't want to have to fight all of them again going the other way around. Tell me, we, like, honestly, though, like, when I, it would almost feel normal that once we get the next ability, the demo ends, just because if not, like, it just, just doesn't make sense that the demo is this long. Like, and I don't, I'm not complaining, like, I mean, make the demo as long as you want to. I'm just saying, like, developer-wise, it wouldn't make sense that they give you, like, half the game as a demo. And it, I'm not saying half, because it could be like a 10-hour Metroidvania, but even like three-hour demo would be like intense. Okay, let's go look here. Come on down, baby boy. Thank you. Honestly, I probably don't have to fight these guys, but... Ooh, we're at the other end of this, and we're, we don't have the ability to open that. Okay, this we do not want to go because this is just getting back there. We can go one way, but we can't go the other. Ice. Make a broad sword. Nice, it's a more powerful version of what we have now. Doke. Oof, another boss room. 
Is it another rematch with the same dude again? It feels like it. Yeah, same dude again. Holy crap, man. This time's the item. No. Haha, -ha, we finished the demo, boys. We did it. Third time's the item. It would have been the item. And what did I say? When we were going to get the item... Demo ends. Awesome game, man. Awesome little Metroidvania. And this one's on... Uh, on... Uh, PlayAsia? What is this? Johan? Johane? Johane and the Deep Blue Blade. See, I saw this and I was like... I didn't know it was a Metroidvania. I thought it was going to be like an anime RPG. Yeah, no, me too. I'm pretty sure the item would have been given. Awesome stuff, guys. So we, I think we did an awesome stream tonight. I'm really happy with where we were. And that first game, although the NPC AI is like, what you know, like the game itself is a little limited in like what you can do for the moment. The still the potential with the NPCs was amazing. And man, we got to try an awesome demo for a game that, yeah. I'm not sure I'm gonna have time to play through the whole thing like when it comes out like right away because we have a crap ton of sh stuff coming out this week but this is another really freaking good one man I'm really glad we did this yeah exactly it's um it's fun like honestly and that's why I said like one day when we stream more often we can do this kind of stuff more often where we just show up chat a bit and be like what do we want to play tonight and we can play anything like it, it, i want one i said it i want there to be one like random night a week where there's nothing planned i don't necessarily decide on a game we come to stream we can chat and then we be like hey let's play sonic 2 you know what i mean like we can do anything well you figured out what to pair with sea of stars this awesome like there's a lot of good options uh, right now on playasia I have a cart that I want to build for myself, but I'm waiting for um, I'm waiting for like a couple of weeks now. I, I I made a lot of big purchases lately, like Bowser, and I'm still on mission Steam Deck. I'm trying to find a Steam Deck for cheap. So hopefully, I'm gonna manage to find one. Like I'm aiming around three hundred dollars. And I know I'm asking for a lot because here in Canada, less people have Steam Deck. So more like people are trying to sell them more. But like some people on the used market, it just makes zero sense. Like they're trying to sell a 500 and uh, not 500. Uh, like someone was trying to sell a 600, a 64 gigabyte Steam Deck right now for $450. The thing is brand new on Steam. Uh, it is like literally $439 like it, like it, it makes like sometimes I really wonder like it, are people actually buying this stuff which is why people are actually and I get you save the taxes but yeah a brand new steam deck the 64 gigabyte model let's say you wanted the old base model is 439 
And this guy's selling a used one for 450. It's like, yeah. But like like I said, it, it's it's not even that. It said like if I pick up a 64 gigabyte like Steam Deck, it has to be in perfect shape and I'd be paying 300. Because if a brand new one is 439, it makes no sense for me to pay more than 300 for a used one without a warranty. You know what I mean? And like yeah, that like it just to me it does doesn't make sense. Um like even the 256 is 499. Like honestly, and like the 512 is 559. Like I saw I saw people trying to sell 512s for 500 bucks used. Oh, you just meant the value wasn't there. I get what you mean. But um I'm going to I'm going to definitely try to pick one up in the next few weeks. I'm not in a super rush though because it's like we're over like we're we're going to be overloaded with content starting probably tomorrow. Um so like it we're it's not like we're hurting for content. We're going to have a bunch of stuff to talk about. Um but like after the holidays, I'd like to have some like a a a, a second thing from time to time to talk about simply because I'm previewing that 2024 it is going to slow down like as soon as like we get close to like announcement of switch 2 like things are definitely going to slow down yeah it's insane like I said I I strongly strongly think we are going to get um a sale tomorrow around noon I think if we don't, that means all bets are off and I can't guess anymore. But if they're doing an indie world, normally there's always an eShop sale timed with indie world. And since we're one week, like one and a half week away from official Black Friday, they they, they could just start the indie sale right away. And then on the 24th, like on the, the weekend of Black Friday, the triple A's are going to hit. I wish they had uh, added Rogue One into the middle. Yeah, you're right. Did the nine main movies? Uh, honestly, I just wish that they didn't make what the the not like the last two of the last trilogy. Like, I just wish they didn't make them the way they were. They did. They they like anyway. The, like to me, like Star Wars was one of my top franchises of what I would want to watch in the past. And um, I I fell off at like episode nine. Like I I sat through the the, the prequels and I was able to de to deal with the prequels being not that great. Um, because you were sort of locked into a storyline, and it's hard to make a prequel when you're locked into a storyline. But um. They got they 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 set up something so great in the Force Awakens. Like the Force Awakens, when you're setting up a new trilogy, you always accept that the first one is gonna waste a little time introducing the characters, doing the stuff. So the first one's never gonna be the great one, best one. But it wound up for me being the best one because it set up so much that the series had only up to go from there. Like, in the sense that they set up a lot of good things, and then they basically trashed everything they set up. Everything they set up, they destroyed it. You, I never thought, I never thought they would actually get Mark Hamill to come back to the franchise. And they did. And they fucked them up. Like, they, f like they messed up Luke Skywalker. The one character you can't mess up that like people are going to hate you forever for messing up. And you turned him into like. A, a, a really like. Bad character like. No matter where how bad you think things got in in like the, the, the sequel trilogy, if you think about it. Luke had it way worse in the original trilogy, like, you know, four, five, six. 
Like, his dad cuts his arm off. Everyone's dying around him. The Rebel Alliance is destroyed and there's no one to turn to. Like, things were actually worse in the original trilogy than they ever got in the sequels. Okay? And he still never lost faith in what he had to do. And he never lost faith in the Force. And the whole original premise of Star Wars was to trust into the Force. And they basically at one point had almost, Ray almost saying like, yeah, the Force is garbage. You know what I mean? Like, like trust, you know, I was, I'm all the Jedi, I'm all the Sith. Oh, but the Jedi need to end. Like, no, they don't. Like, you have Luke Skywalker saying that the Jedi should end when he was like the last hope of reviving the Jedi's. It, it's like, it, it, it destroyed me, that part. Exactly. Like, to me, with everything he overcame in the original trilogy, even with the stuff that happened to him in the three sequels after that like let's call it you know the 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 the, the second the last trilogy to me the original trilogy outweighed that so if the dude persevered through all that there's no way that what happened in that that like in those movies would have broken him like oh i tried to save ben but it didn't work and i I actually almost killed him, and then that's what turned him to the dark side. So I, I myself made him turn to the dark side. Okay, that really sucks. But doesn't suck as much as your own father finding out that he killed your mom, cut your freaking hand off, and became the worst freaking villain in the whole universe, and pretty much is trying to extinguish, like, planets. Like, anyway, I could go on for hours for 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 what like the 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 crap that they did to Luke Skywalker, and I'm sorry, the Force Ghost like projection did not redeem him. Nope, it was a cool twist, but it didn't redeem him. Nah, I can't, bro. I work at 8 a.m. tomorrow, and I have to be in the office, which sucks. Because, and like I said, there's no way I can work the streaming the um, indie world in that. So I'm going to have to watch it, like, at work, taking notes, if I can. I know it was a joke, champ, but um, if I did not have a 9-to-5 job anymore, definitely we could do that from time to time. Like, a, 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 maybe not a 24-hour stream, but, like, a 12-hour stream. Like, honestly, I'm too old for 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, I'm too old for 24 hours. 12, I could do. You know what I mean? Like, st like we, we start at midnight, and we go to bed, like, at noon the next day. That that would be doable. Or, or more likely, we start, like, at 8 to 8. You know what I mean? Like, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. That would be more. But you'll get less people because people are working and, and having a life and stuff. But either way, hey, it was a total fun stream tonight, guys. Thank you so much for showing up as usual. I'm going to cut it off here so that I can rest and that hopefully either... Like, if basically we don't get a massive sale drop, you guys will get a video tomorrow with like 10 awesome early Black Friday deals. I'm so sorry, Tony. There will not be a, a sizzle reel once again because there just aren't enough good games at brand new low prices to put to make a sizzle reel. And I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to force it. <laughs> um, but uh, if not, and if we get the mega sale, though, I'm most likely going to have to push the video to Wednesday because I'm actually going to have to make it tomorrow. And then, like, basically, by the time it's edited, it's going to be too late to launch. So it's going to launch, like, Wednesday morning-ish. So, anyway, but that's the sort of plan-ish for tomorrow. And uh, if we do get the real Black Friday sales, um, I'm thinking, like, every two to three days we'll have an added video. Okay? I don't want to do, like... 
50 game lists in one video because it's it, they're just ridiculous to make and they're ridiculous for you guys to try to follow. There's too many games at once. So I'm most likely going to break it up into like 25 game chunks, but try to do more videos. So we might go up to three or four deal videos in a week or something like that. If we do get massive Black Friday deals, and I'm going to try to find some logical way of breaking them up. Like brand new lowest ever prices, returning prices we haven't seen in like forever. Um, you know, indies, triple A's. Some I'm gonna look what this landscape looks like and find some logical way to break it up. Either way, thank you guys, like I said, for coming to the stream. I hope you guys had fun. Brand new camera. So now honestly, I'm 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 so excited. Like I'm going to have to shave more often and, and look better on camera, though. Like, the camera's too good. I'm going to look I'm gonna look older now. But, uh, yeah. Brand new camera. I'm so happy that I finally got the DLSR mounted as a webcam because I... Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to help a lot for filming a lot of stuff. And that means that I can do my... I can use my Razer Amazing webcam to do the Lego stuff. It's the Lego stuff that pushed this over the edge that I was like, yeah, because uh, who mentioned it when because of the um, the white balance when when um, when I was doing the Lego stuff, it was it was bad. But next time it'll be much better. Number one, when it's not that huge of a build, I don't have to go that fast because that was 3000 percent speed to get that to, to get it fitting in 20 minutes. And um, so I'll be able to go like to like a thousand percent speed, which looks a lot better, by the way. Um, and number two is I'm going to put like a black mat underneath so that it's not on a white surface, which is actually going to cut down on the white balance issues. And I'm going to lock the white balance. Yeah, it's well, think about it, guys. It's it's seven and a half hours seven and a half hours 70 times 60 is uh, is uh, 420 minutes 450 minutes okay so let's say i go to a thousand percent a thousand percent is 10 times okay that means that at 10 times the video is lasting 45 minutes without me talking at the beginning without me talking at the end even at two thousand percent so no, but so the footage must have been longer than seven and a half hours because at three thousand percent the section of building oh it's because no I'm counting in the sort of um you know the the camera work that I did at the end like to show Bowser turning and all that stuff um which added in like an extra two and a half minutes at the end and like an extra minute at the beginning anyway yeah so. It, I, I tried it at 2000% and the video was coming out at like 35 minutes, sort of. Um, yeah, I, I, I cut out like everything that wasn't essential to it. Um, but I actually did it pretty clean because honestly, I was super surprised. I ran through that thing like pretty clean. I was expecting to have issues at one point. Nope. <sighs> Went through it all. It was very hard. It was long. My fingers hurt. But it, I actually did it all in two sessions pretty clean. Anyway, um, either way, it, it'll be slower. Black matte, better camera. Everything's going to be better the next time. No, I did not step on a piece, champ. <laughs> Damon tried to eat one, though. But I did not step on one because actually, like, I was super... Like, I, I really did it very... I, I don't think I've ever built a Lego as efficiently as that and as, like... um Like, I had a system, and I did the exact system. Like, I would put the bag under camera so I could see the number, so that when I would put the videos back together, I could always make sure I was in the proper order. You know? So that's why I would stop the bag under the camera, so, like, you know, number one, number two number three, number four. So you could actually see the bag, like like when they cut scenes and they like, scene number one, scene number two. Like you, could, I could always see the bags, open them up, separate small parts, big parts, had the menu there. Anyway, it was like, I was like an oiled machine to build Bowser. And honestly, I think that, let's say it's your, 
you're not very used to building Legos. For me, it was seven and a half hours. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised that a lot of people it took them. It would take them 10 hours or more because I was like an oiled machine going extremely quickly. <laughs> Either way. OK, anyway, I'm rambling on blah, 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 blah. So thank you guys for showing up as usual. Hope I'll see all of you in my next video.